In the previous lecture, we discussed the concept known as capacitive reactants. Now, let's look at this example that deals with that concept. So, suppose a certain circuit contains a root mean square voltage of 60 volts. If the capacitance of our capacitor inside the circuit is 6 microfarads, find in part A the root mean square current if the frequency is 50 hertz and in part B find the root mean square current inside our circuit if the frequency is increased to 100,000 hertz. So let's begin with part A and let's recall the relationship between the root mean square current, the root mean square voltage and our reactance of our capacitor. So the root mean square voltage is equal to the product of the root mean square current and our capacitive reactance. Now, if we are solving for this quantity, that means we have to rearrange this equation and solve for this. So the root mean square current is equal to the ratio of the voltage, the root mean square voltage, to our capacitive reactance. So recall, capacitive reactance is equal to 1 divided by our omega multiplied by the capacitance, where our omega is simply our angular frequency. Now, this can be rearranged to the following format. So the root mean square current is equal to omega multiplied by C multiplied by the root mean square voltage. Now our omega as mentioned earlier is 2 pi multiplied by the frequency. So the angular frequency is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the regular frequency. So we multiply this by the capacitance and by the root mean square voltage and that gives us the root mean square current. So the root mean square current is equal to 2 pi multiplied by a frequency of 50 hertz multiplied by a capacitance of 6 times 10 to negative 6 farad multiplied by the voltage of 60 volts and that gives us about 0.113 amps. Now, let's move on to part B. So now we want to calculate the root mean square current if we increase our frequency from 50 hertz to 100,000 hertz. So when we increase our frequency, we essentially decrease our reactance and that will increase our current as we'll see in just a moment. So once again, we apply the following equation. So the root mean square current is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the frequency, multiplied by the capacitance, multiplied by the root mean square voltage, gives us a value of 226 amps. So this is our electric current. Now notice what happens to our current when we increase the frequency. So as the frequency increases, we see that the capacitive reactance decreases and that in turn increases our electric current. So by increasing the frequency, we essentially decrease this quantity and we increase our current, our root mean square electric current.